Okay, so now you know why they call me the rooster. That's right, I am a black man with a mohawk. Anyway, um, they hate me here at this hospital. I mean, hate me, hate me, hate me, hate me, but they won't let me go. They didn't feed me, they're rude as heck. I mean, they are so rude. Um, I asked for a phone, a hot meal, and I get nothing. Cold meal, nothing. They did give me some graham crackers. How many days have I been here? I did get some apple juice. Um, but not the first day. They gave me nothing the first day. Advent Health South. They hate me because I want to go. I keep on saying, hey, please let me go. I've got kids at home. I've got people to take care of. But they won't let me leave because they want that insurance money. But they won't feed me. Not getting surgery. And they're like, oh, you haven't eaten? No, you've eaten. No. Uh... I mean, I've complained to every nurse that I'm hungry. I'm fat and I'm hungry. And it, it's inconceivable that I haven't eaten. Did you order my food? No, you didn't. Do I have a phone to order my food? No. So how am I going to get food? I got slipped through the cracks. And it's not a race thing. It's just Advent Health is not a Christian, good Christian organization. It's all about money. And unfortunately, I, if you look at their, most of their five-star reviews, it has nothing to do with the hospital. And it's some sort of mess up with Google. They're actually getting reviews for the gym that's nearby. Um, 7-Eleven's getting reviews, which is, I'm told, a 20 minute walk not even anywhere near this hospital um, but most of the reviews I see are from the train uh, from a Sunrail train that passes by like they're saying it's a great train um, this hospital is horrible it's it's not just fake reviews it's, an, it's something's broken in Google or something but no the reviews of this hospital why this hospital is horrible Advent L South on Rollins in Orlando, Florida. Do not come here. Rude as hell. And they treat you like, like condescending, like what you need to eat. And then when I complain about it, they're like, why are you, why are you rambling? Like, what's your problem? Uh, cause I'm hungry and it's been days and fat boy needs to eat. Um, I smell, I need to take a shower. I need to poop. Um, they are seriously, like they're going against the doctor's orders. They're trying to tell me, hey, you need to use crutches. I have a broken arm on one side, a broken foot on the other side, which you misdiagnosed. The doctor said, don't you dare use a crutch. And yet you as a nurse are telling me to use a crutch and looking at me like I'm crazy because I can't get to the bathroom. rude as anything the stuff I see on their computer screens God says love your neighbors as you love yourself Galatians chapter 5 verse 14 they do not practice it here God says I give you peace so don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid John chapter 14 verse 27 I'm very afraid this is not a good hospital for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 13. God promises peace. My peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and not be afraid. John 14 27. I think I, it went too fast. I didn't see it. Horrible hospital. Do not come here. Fake reviews. They need to clean up their act. I don't blame the individuals. They need better training. 
just like I don't blame corrupt cops because it's the system they need better training don't defund them well this hospital will take your money and if you don't have insurance I would have been let go the first day I kind of wish I didn't have insurance in this particular case because they would have been like oh you're cured get the heck out of here you're free to go but because I have insurance nope you gotta stay here they're making me stay here a whole nother a whole nother day and a half because they say they want to give me physical therapy for a broken foot in a cast let me show you let me just show you real quick hold on sorry how am I butchering that I'm messing that up so right physical therapy and they're gonna take it off in a week so I they're, they're gonna get insurance what so I can go like this what, what are you gonna teach me What's, what's happening right now? They're wanting to do, they're wanting to get as much money as they can from the insurance company. As much money as they can. They're gonna milk the insurance and milk and milk it and milk it and milk it. Hospitals are not there to protect or help you. They're a business. They're there to make as much money and to steal as much as they can from the insurance companies. They're not a good organization, no. Advent Health. Again, I don't blame the individual people. I blame the executive branch that makes these rules that say, hey, we need to get as much money as we can from the insurance companies. Hence why they test everybody for COVID-19 like every day. <laughs> um, they, 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 they do a ridiculous amount of testing on so many things so they can get additional funding from the government. A hospital gets more money if it's funded. If, if you have a case of COVID-19, they get more money from the federal government. They're milking it every which way. Get a second opinion. Don't go to Advent Health South. Get a second opinion from a reputable company, a reputable uh, a doctor, a, rec a reputable hospital. And um, I believe it's called US News uh, World and Health Report. Um, you can find it online, Google them up. They'll give you a list of the top hospitals, the top doctors. This hospital, unfortunately, Orlando doesn't have uh, very many good hospitals. In fact, this one is ranked less than 50%. And they're calling it like a good score because hospitals typically don't have good scores. It's I can't remember the ranking. It's definitely less than 50%. Don't, if you have a problem, you don't have to go to a hospital. You can go to a specialist, which is what I recommend. You go to a specialist. And remember, someone who's wanting to do surgery on you, that's how they get paid. An orthopedic surgeon averages over $500,000 a year. Trust me, it's not in their best interest, as much as we don't want to admit it. It's not in their best interest to say, hey, you don't need surgery. Go about your merry way. I'll take that uh, $80 that the insurance company is going to give me versus the almost six grand that the insurance company is going to give me. Plus, um, there's so many other people that get paid, not just the anesthesi anesthesiologist. That's five grand right there. Come on. There's too much money that they get paid. Not to say that they're not worth it or it's not deserved. But the, the, where the problem lies is they get paid so much money that your interests aren't protected. Don't let me get started on if you have cancer. It's a whole other topic and we'll get into it another time. But for now, the rooster, Jerome Robinson, the Robinson Report, as always, I'm out. Hey, can you do me one more thing? I forgot to tell you this. Can you support my videos? Can you subscribe? Can you hit the like button down below? Can you subscribe? And more importantly, can you share it with your friends and family? It helps me get the word out so you can get to know Jesus. I'm trying to turn the tables in this world. I'm asking for your help to do it. I haven't made a penny off of YouTube and I don't plan on it. My goal is to spread the word of Jesus. I love all of you. Please share, like, and subscribe. It'll do me a great solid and I appreciate all that you can do to help me spread the word of Jesus Christ. I love you all. Have a great day. All right. Thank you.